What? Yeah. The actual? Oh my god. you guys welcome back today uh, is a very very exciting day we've been waiting for this day feels like forever but mm -hmm. i am here about to go in for my first doctor's appointment for the baby and i'm so excited i'm gonna get my ultrasound today my first ultrasound because i'm eight weeks today yeah super picture. exciting and also another exciting my hair is on your beard sorry and, and also another exciting thing about today is we finally coincidentally this is the day that i'm also telling my parents because They've been out of town traveling, doing stuff, and kind of sick, so I was waiting for the right time to tell them. And then everything got to them delivered today, so. Did you tell Kamaya? I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell my sister before because we're gonna film, like, virtually film the whole thing and have my sister film. And so I wanna tell my sister ahead of time so that when my parents find out the news, you know, I don't want Kamaya to be so shook that, like, she's not recording well. So I wanna tell my sister ahead of time. Guys, I have to get out the car because this car is trying to back up. So I'm gonna go into my appointment and I will give all of you guys an update. Mel unfortunately can't go in there with me either. Only one person because of COVID. Bro, that's the lamest. I know, I know, babe. It's my child. I know. I get COVID rules elsewhere, but. I know, especially the, I feel like the first appointment should definitely be an exception. Bye, Vani. Love you. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> to get my ultrasound. It's about to undress real quick. Hi, KK. <laughs> Guys, they I saw people had like dress, so they look who's here. Uh -oh. Ooh, identify that as so <laughs> Are you serious? I'm serious. Who said the camera was twins? Neither. No, I have twins. You do? One of my one of my aunts had twins. What? Hey, what the fuck? What? Vermont said what? I mean. Oh my. There's a baby on the right, and there's a baby on the left. <laughs> oh my shake. What? No. The actual? Oh my god. So, like I said on the phone, they told me that I couldn't bring anybody i couldn't only really come by myself Daddy. so i'm in the waiting room and i see someone has like their mom someone has like their boyfriend so i last them to ask i'm like hey are we able to bring like someone with us into the appointment and they're like yeah you can bring someone i was like well my son is also here they're like that's fine i really like this new doctor by the way this was a brand new doctor and i really like the facility i really really like the doctor she's super sweet she's armenian so mel and vaughn walked in and when i tell you i'm so so thankful you walked in and you came because i think if i would have done this ultrasound alone and told you you wouldn't have believed me I don't know. I just, I'm just glad I was there to experience it because we were in sh yeah. shock. Because the, we didn't even, believe it. Even more so, more so than you, me not believing you. If I wasn't there, I would have been upset. Because you missed that, that I moment. wasn't there and I, I missed know. that I moment. Been upset That's why too. I was upset in in the first place that I couldn't go. Because I'm like, we're gonna hear the heartbeat for the first time, and I can't like be there. So I'm glad I was I was there. Me too. If I wasn't been, there, that that was a memory. I'm so happy we. Like that would have ruined the rest of my day if Nas oh, would have came on to me. Like I, I wouldn't even have been. A, Are you serious? I'd have been like. Guys, what's crazy? Okay, so she pulls up the ultrasound. I don't know. I feel like this doctor was really chill. Like we could have filmed the appointment, but Mel didn't bring in the camera. I just uh, didn't want to. You know, on first appointment, I didn't want to bring in the tripod and camera and all that. Now she knows what we do for work, so it's yeah, more, we told her it's we more understandable. Social media. So that's why we got, like, a little bit of clips on our phone. But, so, she puts in the ultrasound. So until you're 12 weeks, the ultrasound is vaginal. It's not on your stomach. And I see two. Mel doesn't, Mel doesn't understand it at first, but I automatically, I see two. Mm -hmm. It's literally mirrored. But, like, I didn't know if it was, like, a, just mirrored, like, for the ultrasound or, like, I didn't. I was connect. like, what? I didn't connect the dots because I'm also holding Kayvon, so I'm like kind of, 
all over the place. And then Nas immediately was like, is that two babies? And I was like, huh? And, and she's then, like, let me check for three. I was like... Yeah, and then, like, she just kind of didn't really say too much. So I was like, is it? And then she was like, yeah, but let me check for three. I'm like, what? Guys, what's crazy? So basically, she explained to us, if you see twins, like... See how there's two different... It's best on this one because yeah. you can see the line down the middle right So this there. is one baby. So she couldn't get both yeah. in one image. Line. So this is, yeah, this is one. And then there's another one from a different angle. She took the other one. So pretty much she said that this isn't like a split egg. So mm -hmm. we have fraternal twins. Yeah. She said this is two different eggs with two different sperms. Our, our little swimmers is going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they was in there like, hey, I got a homie. I got a homie over here who's been looking for a little shorty like you. So essentially, the way this happened, that's how some women have twins from two different men. You know what I mean? Yeah. How like women get pregnant with like two babies. Of from course, Nas gonna ask that. And I asked, I'm like, wait, so that's how that happened? I'm like, you like, gonna yeah. make it look like that's what you did? I was did. like, no, that I did that. But I'm like, you know, I always wonder. You hear those crazy stories like twins from completely different dads. Yeah. This is how it happens. And the whole time, Vaughn is just in there. Like, wow. Oh, like yelling, <laughs> screaming. I kept on telling Mel, can you please take, like, Vaughn was cute at first, but then I'm like, babe, he's, I'm like, this is the craziest news of my life, and all I hear is Vaughn in the back going, wow, and then touching yeah. everything. But guys, this doctor was, she's a mom herself, so she's like, he can touch whatever, it's fine. Yeah. Like, she's she like, was what is he so gonna, sweet. She's like, what is he going to do, press a button on the ultrasound? I'm like, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Break it, and we have to pay for it? Yeah, I'm like, you don't know his strength. He'll break that machine in one try. Babe, we're gonna be you're gonna be a dad of three. But we're just sitting birthday. here we're just sitting here thinking about the car situation. How much our lives is gonna have to change. Like we're gonna have to get a bigger car. We're probably gonna eventually have obviously we're gonna eventually have to get a bigger house. Like we're out of guest rooms at this point. There's so much to figure out, you guys. But we were talking about getting I don't know if you guys family. are too into cars. We were talking about getting like an SUV or a Kia Telluride if you don't know, which is just a three roll SUV mid size car. Now we're gonna have to get like an escalade or like something big because Vaughn has to have space for his stuff. He's gonna be getting older. Then we're gonna have to have two more car seats in the back and then still have room for like hey, at least one three. guest. We're gonna need three. Vaughn is still gonna be in a yeah, car seat. But he, but oh my God. Obviously, once the babies get here, Vaughn will be front facing, so he won't be taking up as much space in the back. But we're gonna have to still have space for like a guest or two, like to sit if somebody wants to ride with us and the kids. So we're gonna have to size up a lot with everything. And do you know what's funny? We we've, we've been going back and forth whether we want um, two total or three. Then our thing was if we have a girl next, we mm -hmm. want to have. We, we just want to be done. Be done. Yeah. If we had a boy next, we wanted to try for three. So part of me is kind of like this was the universe telling us like you guys. Three was you was guys. Right for us. Guys, my mom was literally begging me. She's like, no, have three, have three. And I'm like, I don't know, mom. Like especially this pregnancy has been like really hard. You guys, like definitely the nausea has hit me double. Yeah, um, and we see why. Yeah, and I feel like I'm showing a lot quicker. I knew I would show quicker with you know my next pregnancy, but this time like. Remember, I was making you feel I'm like I feel the baby. I feel like a hard lump, yeah. like right here. Um, but it turns out it's double trouble. Double homicide. <laughs> double homicide. <laughs> you, Mel, is getting a vasectomy, and I, I'm actually kind of happy about it as a woman because I'm like I can just go through pregnancy one more time and knock two kids out. Because I'm not trying to go through pregnancy again. I'm about to be a father of three. I was not expecting to be a mom of three by 23. I feel like at this, to this point, I'm honestly, it's like, I'm really starting to become a dad, even though Vaughn's almost two. But like, I feel like this toddler stage is like really the like test of parenting. Yeah. Like everybody thinks that like the infant stage is hard. And to us personally, I didn't think that was like the hardest stage. Him being able to run around, touch stuff. And he kind of, knows like what he wants and things that he wants but can't say it all the time or can't describe it and so he has a lot of frustration so now i really feel like a parent and so although we're shocked i feel like we're ready for this like if this is our first child we're gonna have to pay for three tuitions <laughs> We're gonna have to pay Two for of them at the same time when we go on vacation we have to buy like three extra plane tickets like and then when they get older their friends coming. yeah they're gonna have all their friends over we're, we're gonna, gonna have to get there's gonna be two things we're gonna have to always do at the same time we're gonna have to buy two teenagers cars at the same time i know well a lot of twins share a car baby they, they go to school together they go to 
Yeah, but that's Especially, wack. honestly, a lot of twins that I knew, like in high school, like they had their own they lives. They always they do. have their own friends. They always they have different had their own activities. Yeah. But then parents still seem to like dress them the same. And I understand from a parent's standpoint, it's easier to just be like, okay, well, I'm buying off this rack. Let me just grab two. Babe, I did not. This was the last thing. The thing is, Mel has no twins. I have a set of twins, but I have it okay. in my family. This is so crazy. Well, we're just blessed, you know, know. honestly. We're blessed with, with the entire situation. We're blessed. So. I'm shook. I'm still yeah. like, I don't think I'm going to process this for a minute. Like, it's going to take a second. No. Pregnancy, Every time we pregnancy see twins for me, out, babe, we're about to be like, that's about to be yeah. us. Pregnancy for me never hits home until her belly is poking. Like, until I can physically see and, like, touch and feel her belly. Because before that, it's just like. That's it is for men. It's kind of like out of sight, out of mind. It's like I don't see, like, physically see. Like, you pregnant, so it's harder for me to, like, rub and talk to and kiss her belly at these stages. Um, but once I can actually see the belly, that's when it becomes a lot more well, fun and, do like, I need real. To, well, Obviously, I know that Do I need to show really you these pictures? There. Men out there know what I'm talking about. Once that belly actually starts poking, it really sets in, like, okay, wow, this is, like, happening, happening. My due date as of right now is um, September 9th. But the thing is, Mommy. she said... Um, Mommy, Daddy. Yes, baby. Hmm. She said that twins usually come early, which I'll probably babies. give birth around the 36 oh, week babies. mark. So there's a big chance, babe, we're gonna have Leos. We're having babies. I need some fire in this house. I'm done with you little water signs. I need me a fire sign. Yeah. But you know what? My doctor was like, this is the ideal situation. I'm really happy that you had him, who's a tank. She saw him today, so she's like, you had a big boy. She's like, your uterus is now like expanded. We know what can fit, you know, a big, a yeah. big boy. So she's like, this is good. Like your uterus is more, you know, what's the word? Ready. Pliable. Out. Yeah, it's it's going to stretch a little better than if this was my first pregnancy. I don't want you guys to, to look at my face and think that I'm upset. I'm just, I am just trying to let it all like set in. Like we literally are still in the parking lot of, like we literally just walked to the car. So I'm still trying to. It's crazy. It literally went from me not being able to go to this appointment to being invited in and I'm excited to being told I'm about to have twins and then I feel indifferent because obviously look. I'm excited. Obviously I'm happy, but it's like... You look like a twin dad. It's just such a, you're, you're huge, a good twin dad. huge change in our lives that we were not expecting. Because at first we were like literally like... Nas is even like, we're about to start cleaning out the guest room. Like let's start setting up, <laughs> buying stuff. For the, like now we're going to have to change up everything. And that's what's going through my head is like the dad side of things is like we have a lot of like stuff to do. Like we were even talking about that. So it's like now we literally have to expedite everything that we were going to do before just because we have to make sure that everything is ready because she's pretty much telling us like these twins are going to be early. So don't look at my face and be like Mel's not happy because obviously if you He's guys know me finger. like I love being a dad. It's probably the best like job or responsibility or whatever you want to call it that I've ever had in my life. I love being That's a dad such so a much. Good dad, you guys. So I'm super excited for that, especially that I'm going to have like two, like I can't wait to hold them both like Aww. this. But right now I'm just thinking as a dad and like everything I have to do to make sure that my family and my babies are like ready and safe. Aww. So The universe gave us this blessing because I have to look up the statistics. I'm sure it's not like a... She said in their office alone... Oh, yeah. She said in their office alone we're the second set of twins they're having in over two months like we we're the second set yeah so this is not a common thing i feel like the universe gifted us this because we are meant to be able to handle it i'm not i'm not worried about us being able to handle it that's not what i'm thinking about i'm just thinking about i just the know things that we have to do to be ready for we're not flying ohio business. anymore anytime soon everybody gotta come to us three kids yeah mom and dad i gotta Talk about getting some more Southwest points, cause we're not coming there anymore. <laughs> Unless we want to drive with like an RV. Okay, but we should probably get out this parking lot, cause I feel like. Yeah. And I'm hungry, guys. I didn't eat. We gotta make before. sure we get our Disney trips in while it's just fine for a while. Literally. <laughs> cause oh, that is fun to be. Expensive, <laughs> y'all. Please run up our AdSense. We need the money. Yeah. So look, it, it was burning a hole in my brain. The news. So I told like my my three best friends in the world. And that's one of the first things they said. Y'all better start start saving up a bag because prices about right. to go up.